God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. All right, so I went ahead and started tearing everything apart. Now, I didn't plan on doing this while we were still at this house. I plan on doing it after we moved, but there's been a delay in our moving. So now is as good a time as any. Take the cylinder head off and I can show you exactly how to test this with the head off. So that way you can see, like say you got something from Facebook Marketplace or something and you don't know if the valves are any good or if they're bent or whatever and you can't trust people nowadays. So you can do this little test right then and there and on the spot and you can see if the valves are leaking or not. So let's get to it. All right, moving over to the cylinder head. One of the things to make a note of is it's best to not have the camshafts in. This one does not have the camshafts in. So therefore there's no additional external pressure pushing on the valves. It's just the springs holding them shut. So this will give us a more accurate test. Basically, we're just gonna fill these up all the way with some water. We've got it filled up with water and you can see it's just sitting in the combustion chamber. We're gonna take a little air. Now, compressed air works better than this thing. This is just an air duster from Timu. Um, we're just going to turn it on. And you can see that built enough pressure up to blow right past the exhaust valves. If you look down here, water is leaking out of the exhaust runner on cylinder four and three and there's just a very little bit in cylinder two so this definitely needs the valves lapped which i don't have the stuff for i'm waiting on packages for that but that is a good way to test say you got your thing from a junkyard and you don't want to buy it yet and you have a bottle of water out at the junkyard do a test real quick that way you know if the valves are leaking or not now a little leak isn't too big of a deal. It can just easily lap the valves. Now, if it's a bent valve, it's gonna be pretty obvious. That level's gonna drop really fast. So I don't think these are bent. I just think it needs a good lapping. Keep in mind, this engine does have over 200,000 miles on it. So if valve lapping is all it needs, that's pretty awesome. Huge shout out goes to Yosh Tune for providing this engine. His information will be in the description, by the way. Uh, if you don't know what a valve lapping is, definitely use the YouTube search and type in what is valve lapping. And uh, there's lots of videos. That's why I'm not gonna do one, because there's so many of them. Um, and they cover it pretty well. So it's basically what I'm gonna be doing once my parts get in. You can see the water level is already going down. So definitely a good indicator. You could just fill them up and let it sit there and it would eventually seep past it. The best way to do it is with compressed air um, because I know the intake side leaks, but I couldn't get it to leak with this thing right here. But when I was pressure washing the intake side, water was spraying out. Now keep in mind, there are no cams in here. So there's no external force pushing on the valves. It's just the spring. But definitely a good way to test something before you uh, buy it, just that way you don't get scammed. There's a lot of scam artists out there. You gotta beware and use some knowledge and make sure that you're not getting got. So definitely a quick, easy way to test it. But yeah, it's a simple little test like that that can save you some money, especially when you're buying used parts. Um, everything still looks good in here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is I used the K20A3 head gasket last time on the K20A2 and that actually drops your compression. So use the K20A2 head gasket if you're wanting a bump in compression. So I'm actually, uh, I'm waiting on the new head gasket with the K20A2 head gasket to get here because it's a 0 0.25 or something like that. And the other one was a 0.28 or something. So the A3 head gasket on an A2 will lower your compression just a hair, um, but that is noticeable. So that'll definitely help. It made 201 with that head gasket, the A3 head gasket, and this cylinder leaking a ton of compression and apparently this cylinder leaking some compression too but by the time it all goes back in everything will be lapped and ready to go so it's a simple little test and as you can see the water level is already dropping more so definitely needed to be tested and i already knew it was valves now this engine is not perfect the compression in cylinder four is actually lower than the other three cylinders due to the valves leaking the air is leaking past the valves so it's a little bit lower in that cylinder. So we're still gonna see what it makes for power. Just cause I am curious. I knew it was valves um, when I assembled this engine. I should have just done it then, but we thought we were gonna be moving sooner, but everything got put on hold. So of course, um, now I'm getting videos for you guys. So I'm gonna continue doing what I can before we move. Um, it's in God's hands. I just left it at his feet and walked away. And that's the best way to do things, honestly. But uh, yeah.
But before I get off here, I did want to say you guys should definitely check out the movie Sound of Freedom. We went and watched it tonight. Absolutely love the movie. Uh, we love what it stands for. God's children are not for sale. And if that piqued your interest at that point, just go and check the movie out. There's trailers here on YouTube and check everywhere else. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Before I do, I just wanted to say this. I just want you to know that God loves you so much. He sent his only begotten son. And anybody that believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that we were in our sin and in our transgressions. And Jesus took all of our sin onto himself, who has never sinned before. And he was sin for us. He became sin for us in your spot. So now when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus was rose from the grave three days later, conquering death, according to the scriptures, you are saved and he clothes you with his righteousness. And when God looks down, he no longer sees your sin, he will see his son. Because on our own, we cannot work to get to heaven. We are not saved by our works. No one is. A good work would be uh, feeding the homeless and the poor. That does not save you. Those things are required once you have a relationship with God, you're gonna want to do them. You're gonna feel very generous in helping people. And that's why I'm trying to help you right now. Because a lot of people deny the scriptures because they were church hurt. The church did that. That was not God. I want you guys to know God loves you. He is using me to reach you right now. So just repent. Turn away from your sins. Believe in the finished work of the cross. Because when Jesus said it was finished, I believe he meant it. He was taking this so serious he died for it. But he is alive today. And all you have to do is call out to him. I love you guys. And I just want to let you guys know this message. It is good news. But there is a time when you will not be able to find him. So repent turn away from your sin and turn to him now because that day I feel like it's coming soon. So I just want to let you guys know there's a way out. Take it while you can. God bless each and every one of you and always remember this.